Hello, this is Decimal, and today I want to talk about something interesting. It's called the Teenage Engineering Choir. It's not clear in this video if the OP1 field is controlling all of them or just a few. If you want the whole collection, it's going to cost $2,000, but each individual one is 250 bucks. They can be connected using Bluetooth to any MIDI controller and also the OP1Z, the OP1 field as well. Each one has their own vocal range, so why don't we take a listen to hear what each individual one sounds like. I do think this is an interesting product, but I do have some criticisms. I don't see an audio out, which I think is a missed opportunity. I'm also curious about the hackability and how you can possibly circuit bend them. I don't know if these things are possible. And lastly is the ability to upload firmware to each one to sort of manipulate the sounds would be a huge advantage. Not sure if they would want to do that because then you would just have to sell one unit and not the collection and they of course want you to buy all of them. However, when the pocket operators first came out, they were pretty much, um, they don't change out of the box and then they came out with the, you know, PO33 and the 32 and the speak. So there's maybe a potential for some you know, variability to these um, from an individual standpoint. Uh, definitely an interesting product, but I do think there is possible room for improvement. Having to be forced to play only the speaker um, connected to the device is a huge disadvantage. I think being able to mix the audio levels from an audio jack point um, would be important. They do come pre-programmed with some music that they can play. It does say here that in classic Teenage Engineering Manor, updates will certainly follow. So what do these updates entail? Is it only for adding new music or will it be you know, firmware adaptability uh, to the product itself? This is all yet to be seen. They do have an interesting way of working with them. Um, you can gently tap them on the head to play or pause the singing. Um, if you tilt the doll to the left or to the right, you can decrease or increase the volume. So this is the new product by Teenage Engineering. It's not a drink product. It's, you know, something that makes sounds. So I guess that's an improvement. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.